Shrewd Manager Christianity's Position Many thousands of artists have portrayed Jesus. As a flat portrait on a cloth, the shroud looks to be one of these creations. But when we poke and prod, a different conclusion emerges. The fog is lifting, the summit is in view, but we're not quite ready to stake our claim that the shroud is authentic. We need to spend a little more time breathing in the air at base camp, staying in the realm of appearances a little longer. In this series we ask, do the image and stains appear authentic, that the cloth wrapped a crucified man? Or do they appear fake, somehow crafted by hand? Fake doesn't have to be devious. Fake can mean designed to deceive, but can also mean designed to give the illusion of authenticity, just like all realistic-looking art. At first pass, as a two-dimensional portrait on fabric, the image appears to be handmade. But how do we decide? We'll keep things simple. If we see brush strokes, outlines, errors in anatomy, that the front image doesn't line up with the back, that the stains are paint, that the stains are misplaced on the image, we'll conclude it appears handmade. But if we find the stains are blood, they got on the cloth by contact, they exactly correspond to medically accurate sites on the image, and the front and back images line up with three-dimensional precision, we'll conclude the shroud appears authentic, to have wrapped a dead man. In this series, we'll let the shroud show us. Before we do, though, we need to decide how to use experts in our quest. I'd wager none of us has a bat cave full of high-tech lab equipment. And who among us has access to actual threads and fibers of the shroud? This means we'll have to rely on experts. But experts don't always agree. Courtroom lawyers have no problem finding experts to argue any side of any issue. Experts are human and have biases. I don't pretend to know people's hearts and minds, but there is an asymmetry of significance for the two sides of shroud authenticity. No mainstream religion requires belief that the shroud wrapped Jesus, that the stains are his blood, and the image is his portrait. Even the Catholic Church, the belief system most closely tied to the shroud, does not insist on the shroud's authenticity as a matter of faith. If the shroud is artwork, it is devotional art of a very high order. Why is that a bad thing for believers? Christians don't belittle Michelangelo's Pieta because it's merely a work of art. If the shroud image proves to be handmade, Christians should treat it like other reverential art, as an aid to devotion and useful in teaching the faith. As Luther put it, all the arts should be used in the service of God who gave and made them. So Christians may want the shroud to be authentic, but don't need it for salvation. However, if the shroud is authentic, if it wrapped Jesus, it is his blood, and his image is embedded on the cloth, what would non-believers do with that? The one man in recorded history believed by billions to work miracles, capable of altering nature itself, co-equal with the creator of the universe, has left us a portrait, a one-of-a-kind artifact impervious to 21st century scientific explanation. Some non-believers offer thought-provoking explanations and experiments. You'll see some of these in the videos. With other non-believers, though, their attempts to explain or recreate it feel unserious or dismissive or in some cases desperate. These are the ones who seem to need the shroud to be fake. I don't blame them. It is hard enough for believers to explain. I can't imagine if my worldview depended on a piece of cloth. Shrewd Manager Christianity's Position Non-Christians' bias against shroud authenticity is at least as strong as Christians' bias in favor, likely more. So what are we non-experts to do? We'll simplify without being simplistic. Experts are only as good as the evidence and their reasoning from it, so we'll focus on that, evidence and reasoning, and use non-technical terms. Next, we begin our journey where many journeys begin, with one foot in front of the other. 